Did you know that there are some secret hidden drums here in GarageBand? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find them. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today. Now, when you're using drums here in GarageBand on your iPad or your iPhone, there's a heap of ways to use them. You can use the drums, smart drums, virtual drummer, the beat sequencer, it goes on and on. But did you know that as well as the ones we can see here, there are some hidden drums that we can add in if we know where to look. That's what we're going to show you in this video. Let's dive in and take a look now. So I've opened a new fresh project here in GarageBand. We're at the drum instrument. I'm going to tap on more sounds because I've actually got the vintage drum machine and I'm going to use the classic Roland TR-808. So we're going to tap on this. Now I'm here on the iPad. It'll look very similar on the iPhone as well because you'll have a grid here of three by four, which is 12 different kit pieces of your drum. So you've got things like your kick drum, your snare, your cowbell, your clap, your shaker. That's all very cool, yeah, but that's not not the whole kit and caboodle. See what I did there? There is more kit pieces that we can actually explore. So let's show you a couple of ways to get to these. Firstly, let's record in a quick beat here using our drums here, and then I'll show you what we can do. There you go. You can see why I'm not a beat maker. Anyway, we'll go back to the track view here. We'll hit play, and there is our beat. Very cool, but that's not all we can do here. If we tap on this, tap again, and go to edit, we can actually go in. And what you'll notice here is instead of 12, there are actually 16 different kit pieces. Now you can count them, you can hit pause and count them, but trust me, there's 16. And what we can actually do is we can change out, we can use these different kit pieces by adding in new notes here in the MIDI editor, or we can actually move things around. So let's come down to the bottom here. Say we wanted to, instead of using that classic 808 kick drum, what if we wanted to move this up to kick number two? That one, a bit of a drier kick. Well, all we need to do is tap and hold and drag that up to there. And then we can actually make all of our kicks or bass drums, as we say here in Australia, we can make those all that drier kick drum. So now we'll listen to our beat. Very cool, and you can do that with anything else here. We can add in additional notes. So if we just come in here, if we turn on up in the top left here, we turn the latch on there, we can now add in beats as well. So let's just throw some like shakers in here. We can use these tom drums in here. We can add some claps. You can add some sticks. Now I'll put these all over the shop. So this is gonna sound terrible, but let's just uh, hit play on this. Didn't sound too bad. Anyway, <laughs> when you put things on a grid, they'll sound okay. So you can see here we can access all of these quite easily. Now, it's not just your electronic drums. You might be thinking, hey, Pete, I want some acoustic drums. You've got the same thing with your acoustic drummers here. So here's our SoCal kit. Let's just slide this out. We'll mute that original one. If we, again, hit record and we do a bit of a... I forgot to leave the metronome on, but that's okay. And then go back to our track view. We've got the same thing here. We tap, we tap again, we go, tap, there we go, tap, go to edit. We can again access all of these different kit pieces. So we've got cool things. We've got tambourines in here. We've got another kick drum there as well as that kick drum there. You've got like rim shots as well as our snares. We've got the, the side stick there. So there's a heap of additional drums here that aren't necessarily visible when you're actually playing the drums. Now you can like tap on the side here and you can move around to play most of these. But if you don't get it right, it's a great thing that you can come in here and edit. And some of the kit pieces you simply can't access at all like you saw with the electronic drums. However, an even easier way to access some additional drum kit pieces is to use our beat sequencer. So again, we're here, we've added a new track, and this time we're gonna to go to beat sequencer. And here is our kit, and it'll default to the modern 808. We can tap here in the bottom left. Let's just go and scroll down. We'll go back to that same Roland TR-808 from our vintage drum machines. There it is, doing its thing. We'll turn it off there for a moment. So again, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I've only got seven kit pieces, which is enough to make some cool kind of sounds here with the TR-808. But if we tap on this one here and we go, we'll just scroll over to the left, all the way over to the left to do a new blank one. We'll do it, here we go, new pattern, nothing's there. So if we wanted to actually use, we'll turn it off. If you wanted to use some more instruments, all we need to do is go over to the left here, scroll on down, 
and we've got a plus button here, yeah? So we tap on the plus button, here's all the rest of our kit pieces. We can actually add these all in. So let's, uh, you can play them here, can sample them, and then we can tap to bring them in. So if you want to bring in the entire kit, we can actually bring them all in here and you can have all of them, right up to 16 of them, all the different kit pieces that are part of all of these and you can bring them into your beat sequencer like this. So don't be limited by the defaults here in our beat sequencer. And again, the same works for your acoustic as well as your electronic drum. So here we go. Now we can actually bring in, this is this kick too. Oops, doesn't actually play it. I thought it played it when you tapped there. But here's this kick too and here's this other snare. So if we just do a simple kick snare pattern and turn it on. There you go. We can bring those in there. We can then uh, bring in the cowbell because, of course, you need more cowbell, of course. I don't know what sort of beat this is, but uh, then you can bring in a shaker here. You can come up here. You've got your sticks there. You can add in all of the different things. You can add some hi-hats here, and this is going to be a very interesting beat. And then just bring this in like that. Let's just see what this creates. It sounds like... Um yeah, it sounds like a country song uh, if if I was having a nightmare about country music. Um, <laughs> country with an 808. It's a new style I'm working on right now. But you can see here how easy it is. You add these in here. You add your kit pieces in. You can use them in your beat sequencer. You can use them in your regular drums. There's a lot of different ways that you can add different hidden secret mysterious drum sounds right here in GarageBand. I hope you found this useful. There's two more videos all about drumming in GarageBand. Link down below. You can subscribe by clicking or tapping up there, and I'll see you next time. Rock on.